जी हाँ सारे सत श्रीकाल नमस्कार गुड इवनिंग जय श्री कृष्णा एंड जाम्बो साना बट टेकिंग यू टू दिस इवनिंग यू मे हैव हैड अ सॉलिड लंच यू हैव मेड हैव हैड अ टेक वे बट समथिंग इन द समर दैट वी प्रॉब्ली समटाइम्स लाइक टू टेक फॉर पिकनिक्स और फैमिली गैदरिंग्स और वेडिंग्स बट यू हैविंग अ लॉट ऑफ डीप फ्राइड फूड फोक्स आई एम टेकिंग यू टू द वर्ल्ड ऑफ माई पकौड़े वर्ल्ड विच इज मंजीत कौर पकौड़े एंड हेयर आई हैव गॉट अ वंडरफुल अरे आई एम लुकिंग एट मेथी आलू पकौड़े गोभी पकौड़े गठा पकौड़े कद्दू पकौड़े मूंग दाल पकौड़े आलू ते चिकपी पकौड़े एंड पालक पकौड़े हाउ इज दैट फॉर अ होल शो विच आई हैव डन ओनली वन कॉन्सेप्ट इन अयर फ्रायर शो यू टू डिफरेंट कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ मारू भजिया टूडे everything will be done in the air fryer at high speed and turnover of 6 to 8 minutes we're going to get this pakode done maybe in batches of twos but welcome again so let's go on to first uh, uh, boiled potatoes red potatoes in which i already methi pa liya and mai besan pa liya i can add a little bit of water only a little bit of soda bicarbonate to give it that the uh, the the sponge if you don't then it would be a bit thick so sort of bicarbonate and that would go in all the pakode so quarter teaspoon of uh, bicarbonate and that will give it its rising agent salt chilies um ginger as you wish add more methi if you want to and each one will be binded together with a bit of uh, rapeseed oil uh and then they are ready to go into my air fryer which will be heated at 100 uh and 80 degrees and we will brown them both sides i'm going to put it on 8 minutes if we can have the cameraman focus it is on 8 minutes so let's close this at 180 degrees this will be heated i'll be adding a little bit mo more besan here which has already been uh, chhane hoya always use sifted besan never use besan straight from the bowl or the pot in which you are storing you will have serious problems of having giltiyan water very little dahi one heaped tablespoon optional but that will give it its uh, and just adding little bit water is enough to make this bind this is now ready to go the only thing i'm going to add extra here is one tablespoon of rapeseed oil chili flakes fresh chilies to your desire as spicy as you want very little salt because i did use salt for pre boiling the potatoes quarter teaspoon salt quarter teaspoon uh, garam masala and you can add jwain which will help digestion what does jwain do great for the stomach good half teaspoon of jwain so i'm sure you've all enjoyed bread pakode in the summer season in the weddings heavily saturated folks even if it is white bread serious saturation of oil and in the process of deep frying it so opening my air fryer using a lubricant on my hand quite generously so we don't have it messed up and any size theek hai na so because do remember we have put soda bicarbonate they are going to rise as well so no kadai do not use oils which have been refried and stop refrying in oils again and again seriously dangerous use rapeseed oil which is not has got a very high smoke so just two potatoes dekho is going a milestone and when girls say we don't know how to make pakode or you don't like to fry this is not very messy so spacing them out so i can actually get everything in this could be any time pakode i thought i'll go through one series of all pakode journey i'm one little baby one we don't want to waste it hana huh? that goes here space them out so i'll be closing this down washing my hands switching on my air fryer 
and that will go on for eight minutes at 180 degrees after the little short break i'll be starting on to the second pakori which will go on to the tear stay tuned countdown time to the pakori first lot of pakori jade sige methi alu pakori amazing in eight minutes with one turnover i have got this wonderful concept here and i did not fry them air frying so some people think air frying is microwaving i'm sorry it isn't and they cook in a brown nickel without any smell of oil today this evening show is Manjeet's world of pakore since people love them I'm trying to find things that you like have a look at this I can't see if you can tell a difference between a deep fried pakora serving that this is with Mexican bean chutney I also have got pumpkin chutney and I also have carrot mint and marmalade chutney really nice you'll say uh, but this is like uh, natural marmalade the bitterness the, of the orange and carrot both things go very well let's go on to the second concept which is going to be the onion pakode and here I'm, uh, I've got onions cut quite large I'll be adding in fresh methi bit of palak my greens Lassan, Adrak, Mircha, the concept can all be the same. Here you can add anar dana if you want to, and that's the pomegranate seeds. Very little water to add, huh? Because if you add a lot of water, you would then need to keep on adding more besan. So let's add two heaped tablespoons of besan and then adding in our rising agent, baking soda, quarter teaspoon, less than half, goes in the salt quarter teaspoon masala and then we'll be adding garlic ginger in any which order here it does not matter in which order we put them in so you can make them half a teaspoon of crushed garlic red chilies crushed mix all this up always go easy on the water jado jada padenge the besan needs to be added and you lose all the spice uh, of the the flavoring goes simmers down with more and more besan punjabi vich hunda hai kahawat thode da laaj hai although we never lick our food as it happens in other channels um vaigru di mera the taste is always good so there you are just two tablespoons do remember methi and palak did and now do remember also we'll be putting a tablespoon of the rapeseed oil a good mix so you you would be just spoiling your guest with such a wide range so little goes such a long way um, and that could be really serving uh, quite a few people again oil on your hands for no other reason but to stop sticking so this is palak onion pakori flatten them down a little bit because do remember we are going to put a tear so really not messy folks just for you to enjoy you craving for something nice and easy to do and all i used was less than half an onion make goes a, a milestone to give it that same size hana huh? just going to close that my second tier is here so let's make a, we've become quite picky on this thing here i've got kaddu the round kaddu grated here and we'll be adding in a uh, methi no palak but adding in our garam masala half a quarter teaspoon salt quarter rising agent effervescence more more than quarter less than half red chilies to taste adrak very little it is kaddu which is a uh, very placid this is a round kaddu which uh, if you saw my last one of my shows uh, where i used uh, round kaddu in the hondwa so in goes the besan and we're going to put in fresh methi and no palak in this one optional though for you do remember jado apa pani pa dena kaddu which folks is going to release water um kaddu and uh, 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 salt they quickly start releasing water when you add salt to kaddu sifted flour 2 tablespoons gently give that a mix adding in a tablespoon of rapeseed oil and if you do need f uh, any water look at that literally i didn't even need to add water i can hear 
the effervescence of the bicarbonate working in. This is something that's making me emotional because my dad would have loved this pakode, kaddu pakode, something that he used to love a lot. So just drop that and we're going to flatten them down so they don't touch the roof of our air fryer. I'm going to just take the tip of my brush, brush a little bit of rapeseed oil on each one and here I'm using my concept which I've used to make a pakode of different kind which was vegetables in basin. If you remember I got this little gadget. Down goes my and just going to flatten them down a wee bit more. That goes into the air fryer for 8 minutes. Same temperature folks. Join me after a little short break into the other concept uh, after this short break. Jee haan, countdown time. Two different varieties of pakode. Here I've got my platter again. Uh, you can serve them piping hot. Do, do, tin, tin. You know, the, it is just amazing. So I used a concept of my vegetable roaster. And I thought, why not make two tiers? Being careful, obviously. They are hot. So here come out the kaddu. And at the big bottom, we've got the onion pakode. All air fried. And can you tell the difference, folks, whether they, you know, they are not deep fried, only lightly glazed with rapeseed oil, only to help us move them from the foil. Otherwise, they would stick. Getting the next concept ready. So, let's go for the crushed gobi pakore. So, I've got my gobi crushed. However, because it's gobi, I'm going to add a bit of body to it. And I'll be adding in some tablespoon of onion. Adding more adrak because gobi bai hundia, bai means it's a damp vegetable. So we'll be adding a bit more ginger, garam masala, definitely juan because juan is going to be helping with digestion of gobi. Good half teaspoon of juan. No garlic in gobi, only ginger. Gobi, we will not be putting garlic. Onions, yes and uh, chilies to your taste salt again quarter garam masala quarter and a bit of baking powder less than half more than quarter ripseed oil definitely going to add methi to this gobi and methi go well together both uh, one is damp, methi being warm and fiery. And the jodoma, they call I've not even put water. It's already enough from methi, the water constitution. So I shall open my tear first, put that down, give it a good mix, squash that down. So this you can even prepare it or part bake them, air fry them and then uh, just uh, get them back into the air fryer when your guests come on low heat any shape that you want to there's no fixed thing round oval I'm just going to shape them up because my air fryer is hot step them down a bit using my rapeseed oil just a little dab which can be used for high flame cooking then putting in my tear here And I'll be preparing my next concept, which is going to be the mungi dal. Only adding uh, palak in here, and very more palak and less methi. Good turnaround. And because I'd already put uh, uh, water in the dal, I'm only going to add a tablespoon of sifted gram flour. Baking powder, very little in here because already coffee there a piasiga. Mix na, bana ke rakhya hoya siga. So I'm not going to put much in here. Salt, quarter teaspoon. Garam masala, little bit more than that. Chilies, which I've already done a paste of. And adrak, but no lasan here.
a good mix opening my air fryer and uh, you might have seen hondwe de naal i made dahi palle again they were not fried i have even shown you how to make samosa in the air fryer space this out a bit so just lightly dabbing it up close that down 180 min uh, minutes or 175 because it's already hot i'm going to drop the temperature because it's been used so much 8 minutes into this second part of the uh, fifth run of my pakore and i've still got two to show you what a wonderful concept graze it for 10 o'clock 4 o'clock stay tuned let's get this cooking air fryer does make noise in this interim we shall just take a little short break ਸੋ 6 ਦੇਸ਼ਾਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਦੇਖੇ ਜਾ ਰਹੇ ਅਕਾਲ ਚੈਨਲ ਦੇ ਕੋਲ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਦੇ ਕਿਸੇ ਵੀ ਕੋਨੇ ਤੋਂ ਲਾਈਵ ਜਾਂ ਡੀ ਲਾਈਵ ਕਰਨ ਦੀ ਪੂਰੀ ਟੈਕਨੋਲੋਜੀ ਮੌਜੂਦ ਹੈ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਸਾਰਾ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਹਾਈ ਡੈਫੀਨੇਸ਼ਨ ਤੇ ਕਵਰ ਕੀਤਾ ਜਾਵੇਗਾ ਜੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਗੁਰੂ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਦੇ ਪੈਗਾਮ ਨੂੰ ਕਾਰ ਕਾਰ ਤੱਕ ਪਹੁੰਚਾਉਣਾ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੇ ਹੋ ਤਾਂ ਅੱਜ ਹੀ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਰਿਕਾਰਡ ਕਰਵਾਉਣ ਲਈ ਸੰਪਰਕ ਕਰੋ 0770274890 ਤੇ The first recipe was two red potatoes parboiled adding in ginger garlic fresh methi chilies garam masala and 2 tablespoons of uh, gram flour sifted 1 tablespoon of rapeseed oil and uh, more than quarter less than half a teaspoon of soda bicarbonate mix the whole concept together adding in 2 tablespoons of water make the batter a stiff batter heat your air fryer at 180 degrees add a foil to the bottom tray and do add rapeseed oil drop the batter placing them about half inch apart cook for about 4 minutes turn it over see if they are crispy for another 4 to 5 minutes the second concept was onion mix pakore in which i took a half an onion cut it in long slices added in a little bit of a handful of fresh methi a bit of uh, ginger garlic chilies salt garam masala all a half teaspoon a little bit more than a quarter teaspoon of soda bicarbonate one tablespoon of rapeseed oil two tablespoons of sifted gram flour make the batter and put that in the bottom tier grated gobi methi pakore which was just about 3 florets of organic gobi grated semi fine and quite coarse adding in a small handful of methi quarter teaspoon of salt garam masala a wee bit more than quarter teaspoon of soda bicarbonate one tablespoon of rapeseed oil two tablespoons of heaped tablespoons of sifted gram flour add little water to make a stiff batter and um, put in the tier in any shape that you'd like making sure that the top of the batter is lightly coated with rapeseed oil cook two in one uh, pakore in the air fryer for about 4 to 5 minutes turn them around the third concept of two in one was moong dahi pakore which was a moong dal pre-soak it the night before just less than half a cup of dal drain the water coarsely grind it in your grinder add in 1 tablespoon of rapeseed oil salt ginger fresh methi to your desire if you wish and uh, make the dahi vada or dahi pakoda in any shape and put them in the bottom tier the next tier was the kaddu which was the round kaddu grated in 
the coarse side leave the water of the kadu don't drain it off add in one tablespoon of rapeseed oil salt ginger garam masala any greens of palak or methi to your choice make them in uh, round patties and drizzle a little bit of oil and bake that in a air fryer for about 5 minutes take the top tier down let the bottom tier cook for about further 3 minutes and then cook them universally for a further 2 to 3 minutes till they are brown and you can lift them from the tray the last concept was the spinach methi mix in which i used a handful of uh, baby organic palak chop a small handful of fresh methi heaped teaspoon of uh, granulated mustard seeds ginger salt garam masala to taste one tablespoon of rapeseed oil little bit over quarter teaspoon of soda bicarbonate blend this in two tablespoons of sifted gram flour you may not need water in this constitution because there will be enough water coming out from the palak and methi if you do only go very gentle to make a stiff mix uh, which is boiled potatoes two large red potatoes boiled and mashed leave them coarse add in salt and chili flakes if you wish with garam masala make the two potatoes split them up into four to make two potato patties get frozen peas out leave them to thaw wash and drain squash the peas which are the small peas sweet peas make four tikkiya of the aloo in the center add in 1 teaspoon heaped of peas and put the next tikki of the aloo on top seal them both aloo tikki and make a stiff batter of gram flour which will be about 3 tablespoons of sift batter with salt and about a quarter teaspoon of rapeseed oil make sure that the whole tikki is battered from the side top and bottom oil on the base of the foil put the tikki and do drizzle a little bit more of rapeseed oil to add give it the browning effect cook that for about 8 minutes but in half way you would have to turn the potato peas and also the spinach tikki round to cook both sides serve that with the three different concepts of chutneys uh, which was the mexican chutney with butternut squash and sweet potato chutney both of them were just about uh, half a sweet potato and a quarter of butternut squash boiled mashed up together and spice that up with a bit of mustard seeds ginger uh, salt a uh, half a teaspoon of agave syrup and uh, garam masala to add you can add a bit of chopped walnuts if you so wish the other chutney was carrot mint orange marmalade chutney great half organic carrot add in uh, minced or fresh ginger make that into a sauce in a separate blender dry blend it first and then add a little bit water to make a mint chutney mix that with the carrots add in a heaped tablespoon of orange marmalade and just salt and uh, chilies to add because the orange marmalade itself will be sweet serve that with the whole seven concept of pakore and enjoy जी हाँ ऑलवेज अ गुड साउंड टू हेयर फ्रॉम द एयर फ्रायर बिकॉज इन दैट इंटरव्यू वी कॉन्ट डू एनीथिंग बट वेट फॉर दिस एंड द बैकग्राउंड नॉइज टेकिंग आउट माई दाल पकौड़े एंड गोभी वाले सो वी डिड टर्न दैम हाफ वे एवरी थिंग इज हॉट एंड पाइपिंग हॉट दिस इज मुंगी दी दाल विच आई क्रश्ड इट लुक्स सो वंडरफुल एंड सो इन्वाइटिंग एंड आई हैड टू ब्लैंड इट बिफोर ऑब्वियसली टू हेल्प अस टू गो थ्रू द कुक शो एंड डाउन बिलो आई गॉट गोभी and we still got folks two more i mean how great does this platter look and who says vegetarian food can be boring and here right here on a call channel's cook show i've managed to show you a concept ji ha just trying to glaze the bottom foil again do concepts ban rahe ne we bit different you'll say ke a hage ne allu tikki with peas inside but here i would need to make a batter and the paste and the second and the last one is methi palak with the one ingredient that's going to be topped up high in this one is going to be mustard ground mustard partly ground which is going to be actually a good teaspoon heaped of mustard so let's do this concept first it's less messy in goes in chilies adrak no garlic because we've got mustard and there's plenty of greens in itself so just salt and garam masala to taste 
करार आप जिन्ना भी करना अबाउट अ टी स्पून ऑफ थ्री क्वार्टर ऑफ क्रश्ड चिलीज यू कैन सी द क्रश्ड चिलीज देयर स्मेल्स ग्लोरियस बिकॉज ऑफ द मस्टर्ड हाफ अ टी स्पून ऑफ सॉल्ट द सेम फॉर मसाला एंड वी बिट ऑफ बेकिंग सोडा एंड देन वी गोइंग टू बी एडिंग द रेपसीड ऑयल एंड बेसन just about two tablespoons let's see how this blends do remember as the salt has been added pani chhad dena palak ne add methi and then also the mustard seeds uh, which are ground down and absolutely no water added so can i have the camera this is actually release the water itself ha na as ready to go into my bottom tier trying to keep them flat because i'm making two concepts at a time no mess two hands either just use a spoon as long as you've not got a lot of water constitution you're fine so they all get cooked uniformly so i'll get my second tier in again it is hot so be careful this is a different concept altogether here dry besan does not go in i have to use besan here uh to make a batter so half a teaspoon of that a little bit of bicarbonate to give it that fluffy spongy feeling but no bicarbonate inside theek hai ji so the tikki will be pasted back and front now i've got my aloo already step uh, uh, down i've got my mix of peas which are not cooked uh, they are taken out thawed and washed and drained so i'm going to just take a, a teaspoon or so only leave it in the middle take my other tikki place it on top and seal it this is now become your aloo tikki but with pea stuffing leave that here get your other one ready peas in the middle pick this one up and close it and seal it just two teaspoons of peas was enough and seal it all around so the peas are in the middle this will now become crispy so all i'm going to do is take it very close to my air fryer we bit sticky job so very quickly i'll be just dropping this in turning it around you can drop the whole thing but sometimes depending on the quality of the potatoes these are edwards uh, they are red organic potatoes and they are not starchy and as you see that they were so easy to mold so this one should have quite a bit of paste on top because do remember a uh, see which uh, this opaya uh, soda bicarbonate give it a good uniform roll and just now for the next one in the half time if you notice uh, there's a little bit lack of batter on something you can open it and use the leftover batter so that goes into the air fryer for about 8 minutes we will be turning it over may i take you into a short break and then do the whole display of this wonderful seven concept of pakode in my cook show stay tuned ji ha welcome now to a range of seven pakode never probably done on any cook show neither have i done it with any channel or any other media on the call channel serving 106 countries i have proven to you that a platter of seven pakode can be wonderful very tantalizing very tasty for your guest and all different concepts let's get the last two concepts out which are two aloo plus stuffed uh, mutter tikki not deep fried folks very hot and then at the bottom tray we've got the palak methi with the mustard grain inside how amazing could that be these are not overcooked it's just green because of the the whole green uh, vegetable in there folks i hope you will enjoy this uh, obviously each one is going to be having its own special taste i hope i can take you to another show with this amazing sauces one is the mexican bean sauce this is the uh, uh, the traditional sweet potato squash butternut squash so sauce in which i've added in chilies added in bit of mustard and then tomato with orange uh, carrots with orange marmalade chutney i hope i can take you and i hope that you're going to enjoy this wonderful platter i i think all of you will probably say roti kha te laiya but you could probably enjoy this get your air fryers out ladies enjoy them and start cooking healthy for your heart and for your family goodbye kohari satsrikal god bless you happy pakode evening